Hi, this is Mark Weiss. I just wanted to let you, whoever's out there and might listen to this, uh, be helped by the low-carb diet that I've been on because had I known this years ago, I wouldn't have spent most of my adult life being fat. Uh, for me, it really wasn't a choice. The cravings were so intense that I just couldn't do anything about it. The rest of my life, I could handle, always did great, but I just could not control the food cravings. So bad that if, you know, everything else was out, I'd be eating uh, cake dough. Or not even cake dough, but just cake mix. Um, I was going through a two liter of soda easy a day. Uh, one day I realized I needed to stop when at three o'clock I wanted to go to the store to get another two liter of soda. Um, which I'd started that morning. And so, but I listened to a gentleman by the name of Steve Gibson. Um, I've been using his Spinrite software, which is just a really great drive recovery software. And he does a podcast that also helps him with the security uh, that he does with Leo Laporte, who does a radio show in the weekends. And so, uh, the two of them discussed in one of their, uh, one of Leo Laporte's, uh, Twit specials. I think the first one was 124. Um, and I think the next one was 125, but you can get to the podcast from either twit.tv or grc.com slash health. Uh, Steve Gibson has, he's kind enough to not only do the podcast, but pays for the transcriptions in case you want to read them. But back to my case, um, I heard, you know, all the great results, but you wonder, are, is it really true? So I thought I'd just tell you mine. Um, and in case this helps somebody, great. But I started the diet on April 20th, and in the first three weeks, my mom said, oh, please have some blood work done. So three weeks into the diet, I had blood work done. By that time, I had already lost 46 cholesterol points. My blood sugar had dropped 18 points. It went from 109 to 89, or I'm sorry, 109 to 91. Um, and all the other numbers were just fine. I mean, those were um, were basically the big ones you worry about. But for the first time in my adult life, my doctor looked at the labs and said, hey, we're done. You don't need to come back. You're healthy. Just finish losing the weight, um, which is a great thing to have. So, um, and I've done this all without getting lightheaded. I've done it all, you know, because usually when you eat and you try to starve yourself, you start getting lightheaded because this low carb diet puts you in something called ketosis where your liver will actually process the fat in your body create glucose, which gives you energy. And for me, I've got enough fat on me to last until about Thanksgiving. So, but of course, you know, you don't want to starve yourself. You still want to eat enough protein and you still want to eat enough of that fruits and vegetables. But the fat content, which I've learned fat is absolutely healthy for you. And it is a great thing. It takes your body the longest to process, which means that uh, if you've ever had a fattening meal and think, wow, I don't need to eat for a long time, um, it's a great thing. So, um, I've now been on it for 90 days. Today is June, or I'm sorry, July 20th, and I have lost a total of 55 pounds. The only time I've stopped losing weight was one time I ate four, around well, my birthday, I ate like four hamburgers with buns in three days and then knocked me out of ketosis. And then I got back into ketosis. And uh, the other time was I had, um, Five days of uh, Powerade Zeros, but I'm sure all these diet drinks are the same. Um, and for the five days that I was drinking Powerade Zeros, I did not lose any weight. I did not change my food intake. I just didn't lose any weight. And as soon as I stopped, I started losing weight immediately the next day. And normally, the longest I've gone with not losing weight um, is because I keep a spreadsheet and I weigh myself every day because my wife's work requires this for a uh, losing or getting a discount on health insurance. So I actually have a scale down next to me that actually hooks to my Mac, which then hooks to the internet, which has my weight listed every day that I stamp, step on the scale. Um, so this is all verifiable. Um, but I started at 302 and in 90 days, I am now 55 pounds down. Probably could have lost a little more had I not cheated and gotten out of ketosis the one time and had I not gone, um, drank any uh, diet drinks. So um, it's worked great for me. I have no cravings, no lightheadedness. All my numbers are great. Uh, I'm going to be able to ride this to the end of the year and basically be done and thin and completely be in control of, of my eating. To let you know what I've been eating in the last two days, 
all I have is a hard-boiled egg for breakfast. Eh, yesterday I had two scrambled eggs. Um, but normally I have a hard-boiled egg for breakfast. The last two days I've had a, and I've been eating a lot of these, and they really seem to help me stay on track, is a Carl's Jr. $6 uh, guacamole bacon cheeseburger. I have it low-carb, which means it's lettuce-wrapped instead of a bun. And then I don't have the Santa Fe sauce, because I haven't checked its sugar content yet. Um, although I have had it, and it does add to the taste of the burger. But the burger, even without it, is great. So basically I try to avoid wheat, corn, rice, potatoes, and any kind of sugar, whether it's um, sweetener, sugars, artificial sweeteners, any of that. Um, and I don't have cravings. So it's worked out really great for me. Um, and then uh, the big trick is, but if you listen to these podcasts, uh, specials 124 and I think 125, um, that they will explain, Leo, or Leo Laporte asks Steve Gibson about this stuff, and he will fully explain what to do. And I'm just going to see how it works uh, tomorrow, but in the last two days, by eating just the um, egg in the morning, and for lunch, I either have the Bert, Carl's Jr. bacon cheeseburger, guacamole bacon cheeseburger, and then for dinner, like tonight, I'm just going to have one of those little finger-sized mozzarella cheese sticks. I've lost two and a half pounds two days ago, and yesterday I lost uh, um, a pound and a half. So I'm just going to make this run and see if these uh, this really seems to be working for me. Um, I've varied sometimes instead of the uh, cheese stick. I won't have so little for food. I was having some whole fat yogurt with blueberries, or I just have some applesauce. Again, it all is a matter of it's easy for me to eat, and I can just get back to my day. So anyhow, I hope. If this helps anybody who seems to be having a problem with weight, can't seem to control their urges and cravings, it's just once you kick into that mode, you are just, uh, it, it's just effortless after that. I mean, you have to be able to somewhat say, yeah, I don't want this stuff. But once you start losing weight like crazy and have no cravings, you don't want to give it up because it's just too easy. So, and the only other advice, but again, you should always check with your doctor about this stuff because I'm not at all any kind of physician or health practitioner. I'm just giving one guy's, um, what is it, just one guy's situation of going through this. I did notice there's something called the Atkins flu that happens usually about three, month, three weeks after starting this, and you do a complete, at least for me, I guess it was a very big salt electrolyte dump, and uh, and just it seems like all of a sudden I was feeling great, and within a half hour I thought I was going to have to just just lay down and and I was really nervous because it felt like the flu. And I remember Steve Gibson said when he hit this he ate some broth, and uh, because it had salt in it. But again I didn't know where the broth was, uh, and so I just put a teaspoon of salt, kosher salt, in two cups of water and just drank it, and uh, that helped me feel a lot better. But since then, again, you know, everything's been great. Um, I'm just waiting to be thin by the end of the year. So if anybody's interested and wants me to keep up with my thoughts and my weight, and or if you want the spreadsheet that I use to track my weight, then uh, just post on the website, and I'll get an email, and I'll respond to you. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this helps. If it does, let me know. Bye.